Hello dear viewer, Assalamu alaikum. I am engineer Muhammad Reza Ulohak. Welcome to my automation tools YouTube channel. We know for generator controlling different types of controller and using deep sea electronics is one of them. Today I will show how to read, write and configure a program of deep sea electronics. Model number DAC 7320 MKKI. So let's start. First, we have to connect the power supply. So I am showing the back side. Here you see the 1 and 2 is the for use for power supply you need. You have to be mind that the you must have to be use battery or voltage stabilizer to supply the power of this uh, controller. See here is the 1 and 2 is terminal is used for the power supply. So we connect this power supply from voltage stabilizer to 1 and 2 terminal. Now we connect the communication cable that is a USB to MPI cable. So I am connecting the communication cable in a controller side and uh, in another side we use the laptop or PC. I have already connected this cable between controller and the SMI. We power up the controller. You see what is power off of this SMI uh, controller. So now we go to the laptop side to read the program from this uh, controller. So we open the deep sea electronic suite configuration software. You see configuration suite is uh, opening. After opening this software, go to the create new button. After creating, we have to select the model number of our desired electronics. So we select this our model number. We select and press OK. You see now the configuration is creating this project, this desired model number. You see. take some time when the this model is connected then we had this read from the module and uh, here is the write from write to module so we want to upload program so we select read to module click read to module then it is creation is completed and our program is uploading that means reading program from this module. You see, program is uploading, that's forwarding configuration, you see, step by step it is uploading from the module. It's taking some time. Configuration uploading, you see the program is upload complete. And the right corner side, you see it is a processing the configuration. When it is become the hundred percent, then our operation will be completed. It is become hundred percent, and our program is ready to monitoring. So we open the different type of option that our program is successfully upload or not. So I am clicking on different types of uh, option. You see that it is the our uploaded program from the module that is the existing program is running in this generator. If you need to change any or you have to configure new one, you have to be configured one by one. You see, go to the configuration page. Here you can see select the uh, change as your desire. You can change one by one. Here is the input module. Analog, device as analog module is here. If you need to configure newly, you can configure it. 
it is a digital input you see different types of digital inputs configured is here you can change as your desire if you need to configure new one you can change it as per your requirement this is the output it is the this is the output already configured if you need to configure another one or you have to need some modification you can do it the timer how to start stop timer start timer stop timer you can select is a load stopping timer different types of timer as a module timer different types of option is here you can change at your it is the data sheet of this generator that already running by use this uh, module or controller you can change it at your desired generator model number and uh, voltage so as per your this is a voltage this is a types of configuration generator frequency here you can change any one you need to change any anything you can change it so you see you can easily do it as per your requirement if you need to any change you can change if you no, no need to change you can download to or uh, write to another new smi or if you have if you have any problem in your old controller you can uh, download it to new controller or you download to the old controller if you have any problem you see you can easily do it no need to help any other you can do it as per your requirement no need to help any vendor or any other you can do it i i tell you that uh, i give the if you need any you need this software you can uh, uh, follow my description box i will give the download link of this uh, software to my uh, video description from here you can download this software if you follow this you can download this software and installation to your laptop or pc then you can do it as per uh, you can do it you so dear friend i showing you the different option that already configured in this same uh, controller so we want to save this configuration to go to the save as and you can save it as your uh, desired folder that you can use in your for future use so i am selecting and saving this project in my laptop for to configure or uh, re, uh, uh, write to new controller so i am putting the name and uh, also give the project name of this uh, controller then put the file name that you can easily identify i am putting this 7320 mkii then you press the save button see the program is saved now i will show how to write this program to a new controller or your old controller for that reason i am closing this screen i show you how can you do uh, write to a mode of program to your new module so again we open the dsc configuration suite software i am opening this software after open this configuration suite software we go to the open folder press the open folder in this open folder we have to be open our new our backup configuration that we want to download to our new module or our old module so we select the save configuration that you already uploaded from our old module 
select the folder where you are already store our configuration then select this and press the open button then our safe configuration will be open in this uh, configuration suite software you see this opening in the right corner side it also show the processing of configuration this is the loading after load complete you can see or you can notice in the right corner side of this screen you see notice in the right corner side it is processing configuration that means our configuration is processing or ready to write a new or old controller you see it is ready to write so go to the write to module button press this one and here showing warning write this configuration you press yes then it will be start to writing this configuration to new is new controller or new or old controller you see transferring all the data to the new controller with 100 percent okay it was very short time it was running so again i will show how can you write this configuration to new smi so the new controller so go to the right to module press button press press the yes button you see list transferring checking module and transferring configuration file and transferring all data and the right corner side i am showing the screen of this controller you see restarted and three update in progress don't disconnect that means our new configuration is up updating in the controller you see configuration upload is completed so dear friend i will show how can you read write and configure a dfc electronics 73 mkii it's the same for the all other module different types of module have this dfc electronics you can do your job the same procedure at last i tell you if you like my video to share to your friend they can easily done their job so dear friend if you like my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share thanks for watching